Okay. This is, this is right, I hope. I think I'm doing this right. All right. We're not, probably not balanced, but I hope that's okay. Also, I think we're really, really off white balance. I tried to white balance before, but here's a white piece of paper. I can't really tell. I think it's kind of yellow. It's not my light. My light is a daylight thingy. Daylight color. So, something weird is happening. I don't even know if I'm in frame or not. Anyways! Hello! And wel- Not welcome at all. Hello! And I want to tell you about a story about my neighborhood. Not really a story, I just want to tell you about my neighborhood. Hello! I want to tell you about my neighborhood. Long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, I moved here. Which is about... 19 years ago, I think? So that makes me... 20? I lived in an apartment before, until I moved here, into this bigger house, I suppose. And I uh, noticed... We had... Usually a standard cast of neighbors. I live in a cul-de-sac. And we have about four or five houses. Two families, for sure, stay here, not including us. It's like, we are here to stay. But the neighbors across the street seem to change almost every two years, at least. And I hope that stops, because the neighbors we have right now are pretty cool. One of them... We haven't actually met so far, but they're keeping to themselves, which I like. I like that they keep to themselves, that they're nice, they're kind of quiet, you know. They do their own thing, we do our own, we do our own thing. That's alright, that's cool. Just, just stay, just keep that. The other neighbor, though, they're the interesting one. Don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll leave some footage, hopefully, for you guys to point at the house. Just to show you what I'm talking about. They're, they have this event, I think it goes on every other month, or every three months, or something. I've only seen it twice. They have a guy who performs fire breathing. Yeah, he fire breathes out in the, out in the cul-de-sac, while a bunch of people usually gather around, and it's actually really exciting to watch from our house, because I don't want to be the guy like, right there where a spark catches and then hits my t-shirt and lights me on fire. But, so far, the neighbors are pretty cool. I like them. And I hope it stays like this for a while. Other than that, neighborhood's okay. A little bit, a little bit crimey. Uh, a lot of, uh, I, I, I was living in blissful ignorance, actually, for the past 19 years until I started working at Safeway. And then I realized how much theft and how much, uh, just crime goes on in this neighborhood. Which is a little unfortunate, but I guess that's what comes with, uh, growing up and being a big boy now. Learning about how bad people are all everywhere, especially in the southeast, and the bang bangs, and the, the air smash! That's, that's a car crash. But, hey... I mean, if, if, if it comes with not having to pump my own gas and, and having no sales tax, I'll take it. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I like this my neighborhood. Yeah. I like my neighborhood. I hope that was okay, Peter. I hope that was okay. Is it still yellow? It's still yellow!